हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ ज्योमेट्री क्लास सो आफ्टर दिस दिवाली वेकेशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व एरियाज रिलेटेड टू सर्कल्स चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू हैव गिवन योर प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम सीरियसली एंड ऑनेस्टली डोंट रिलैक्सड नाउ स्टार्ट प्रिपेरिंग फॉर योर फर्स्ट प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम and uh, those marks we are going to consider while giving the internal marks so prepare it thoroughly and give it seriously so let us begin with this new chapter before starting let me revise few things which you already know some important formulas and concepts perimeter and area of a circle this you know so perimeter of a circle is nothing but the circumference of the circle and its formula is pi into diameter pi into d but you know pi and diameter is nothing but twice the radius where r is the radius of the circle so combine this you will get circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r right so you can use this in two ways when the diameter is given directly you use this formula pi into d and calculate the circumference but if the radius is given then you use this 2 pi r formula and calculate the circumference of the circle then comes area of a circle so if r is the radius of the circle then area of a circle is given by the formula pi r square where pi is an irrational number why because its decimal representation is non terminating non recurring type so therefore it's an irrational number and the value of pi usually we take 22 upon 7 now arc of a circle so i am revising all those concepts which are required in this chapter this we have already learned in circle chapter so what is arc of a circle so here is a circle it is the part of the circumference of the circle see here if p you take any two points on the circumference of the circle so that piece of uh, the circle is known as arc so here the longer one is known as major arc and the smaller piece is known as minor arc so a piece of a circle between two points is called an arc the longer is one, one is called major arc and the shorter one is called minor arc and the length of the complete circle is called circumference then comes segment of a circle so let us see what is segment so here is a circle pq is a chord and what this chord pq does it divides the circular region in two parts and each part is known as segment of a circle the part of a circle which contains the center is known as major segment and the other part is called minor segment so it is the region between a chord and either of its arc is called a segment of the circular region or some simply you can say segment of a circle and there are two types of segments which are major segments and minor segments then comes sector of a circle so what is sector it is area bounded by two radii and corresponding intercepted arc right the region shown by purple color is sector of the circle so when the arc is minor arc so corresponding sector is minor sector 
and if the arc corresponding intercepted arc is major arc then the sector is major sector so how to define this the region between the arc and the two radii joining the center to the end points to the arc is called sector the minor arc corresponds to the minor sector and the major arc corresponds to the major sector now we'll see how to calculate the area of this sector length of the arc and area of the segment of a circle so this is something new to you so let us learn the formula for area of a sector so let us see what all things required to calculate the area of sector so here o is the center of the circle right r is the radius of the circle see here op is the radius and theta is angle made by these two radii op and oq with the center right so theta is central angle r is the radius of the circle then the area of the sector of angle theta is given by the formula theta divided by 360 into pi r square where r is the radius of the circle and theta is the angle of the sector in degrees right so remember this formula area of sector with angle theta is given by theta divided by 360 into pi r square next formula is length of the arc so now here pq is the minor arc now if i want to calculate the length of this arc pq what is the formula so here also r is the radius of the circle theta is the central angle made by these two radii at the center so length of the arc pq with angle theta is given by theta divided by 360 into 2 pi r here theta divided by 360 into 2 pi r is the formula for length of the arc now how to find the area of the segment of the circle so there is no direct formula for finding the segment in your syllabus right so how we will calculate area of this shaded region this shaded region is nothing but the minor segment and if i want to find the area of this shaded portion what will i do i will calculate the area of this sector first o a p b calculate area of this sector from that sector you subtract area of triangle o a b so what will remain you will get area of this shaded portion so therefore area of the segment apb is equal to area of sector oapb minus area of triangle oab understood so in this way by using formula for area of sector and area of triangle you can calculate the area of segment of a circle similarly we can observe few things from this diagram if i wish to find area um, area of major sector okay suppose you have area of minor sector and you want area of major sector so that is nothing but area of this complete circle minus the area of minor sector right also if you wish to find area of major segment which is the major segment here this white portion complete white portion this is major segment if you have area of minor segment you can calculate area of major segment very easily how area of this complete circle minus the area of minor segment 
सो देर फोर एरिया ऑफ मेजर सेगमेंट ए क्यू बी इज इक्वल टू पाई आर स्क्वेर वॉट इज दैट एरिया ऑफ सर्कल माइनस द एरिया ऑफ माइनर सेगमेंट अंडरस्टूड सो वी हैव लर्न थ्री फॉर्मुले टूडे वॉट आर दोज एरिया ऑफ सेक्टर इज थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू पाई आर स्क्वेर लेंथ ऑफ आर्क इज थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री सिक्सटी इंटू टू पाई आर एंड द एरिया ऑफ सेगमेंट इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ द सेक्टर माइनस एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल नाउ विल सी सम वेरी शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्क फॉर वन मार्क The area of a circle is forty-nine pi centimeter square. Its circumference is. Options are given: seven pi, fourteen pi, twenty-one pi, and twenty-eight pi. So, what will be the answer? So you cannot guess uh, it's orally. So let us find its solution. So area of the circle is given to you. so let us apply formula for area of a circle so area of a circle formula is pi r square this left hand side is given to you area of circle is 49 pi substitute here is equal to pi r square now this pi and pi will get cancel so r square is equal to 49 taking square root on both the sides so you will get r is equal to square root of 49 is 7 so in this way you will get value of r r is what radius of the circle now you have radius of the circle therefore circumference formula is 2 pi r substitute value of r here so 2 pi as it is into r is 7 so 2 into 7 14 pi so the correct option is option b 14 pi now i have few questions for practice so you try this question number 1 the perimeter of circular field is 242 cm the area of field is right so field is circular in shape so in circle the perimeter is nothing but circumference of the circle so you have given circumference of this field which is 242 cm so you apply formula circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r equate with 242 get the value of r and then you apply area of the circle that is pi r square substitute that r and guess the correct answer now second is the area of a circle is 38.5 cm square its circumference is this is very much similar to the sum which we have done just now so you try these two questions okay so that's all for today's lesson children we'll meet in the next video lesson till then goodbye